Hey fam, welcome to the third part of my Rainmaker tips series. You can find my tips and other Splatoon videos in the video description below. Anyway, without further delay, here is number 9. When your team is behind, do not, do not take the side passageways on Urchin Underpass with the Rainmaker. What do I mean when I say side passageways? I mean these passageways right here. And so you might be asking me, why Sam? Why should I not be there with the Rainmaker? Well, for two reasons. One, the side passageway exits are very small and narrow. Once you are in there with the Rainmaker, it is very, very hard to get out. All it takes is just one player on the other team to easily prevent you from leaving the passageway. And the longer you are in there with the Rainmaker, the more time you are wasting. So take this situation for example, it is overtime, the enemy is behind, and look at that, the Rainmaker is in the side passageway. Terrible for them, perfect for us. The person with the Rainmaker has nowhere to go, and you can see me here keeping the pressure on that person. You know, or I can just go in there and kill him. He has nowhere to go. He has nowhere to go. Just, oh my god, just don't go in there. And the second reason why you shouldn't go in there is because you gain very little distance when you're in there with the Rainmaker. Keep your eye on the Rainmaker tracker at the top. As you can see here, they gain very little distance in there even though the person in there is moving around. Number 10. Don't just focus on getting kills and clean up the enemy ink. My god, just clean up the enemy ink because the last thing you want to happen is your opponent easily swimming his or her way to victory. I mean, yes, getting kills is nice and all, but you have to clean up the enemy ink or this will happen. Number 11. Don't do this. Why? Why would you bring the Rainmaker closer to them and then squid bag? If they kill you, which was exactly what just happened, they could just easily grab the Rainmaker. And, <laughs> and some of you guys wonder why I rage when I livestream ranked matches. It's because people do things like this and cost the entire team the match. Oh, and here's the best part. He's in S rank. I, I honestly don't understand how people in S rank or above still play like this. Number 12. Cause a distraction. As you can see here, my teammate with the Rainmaker is pushing down the middle. I flank around the side to avert the enemy's attention away from the Rainmaker. Now I'm not looking to outright kill anyone, but just my presence and the pressure that I'm applying is enough to keep the sniper away from the Rainmaker and give us the win. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, you know, please share this with people because remember, this is a team game. You know, everyone can always improve, even me. There's always room for improvement, and you know, the fewer mistakes people make, the more fun everyone's gonna have. Oh, and let me know if you want to see more of this stuff. I have more Rainmaker and more Tower Control tips. Anyway, love you all. Bye.